Hey everybody, this is Ronald Long with Talking Squirrels, a middle school ministry podcast. Thanks so much for listening. I am so glad you are here. Hey, I uh, I got a really cool chance to spend last week with some really good ministry buddies of mine. And I wanted to share that experience a little bit with you, tell you what, went, what happened. And if you have never heard of the Download Youth Ministry uh, Network, I guess this is the time for you to hear about it. This is some stuff that that you're going to need to know. About uh, six years ago, I was in a a church that I really appreciate and and love, but I was also in a place where it was kind of, um, well, there was one curriculum that the church went through, and and only one. Uh, This church was very... uh, adamant that they, they used this one curriculum and that was kind of what they they did and they had decided that they would be this kind of kind of church that only used this one one curriculum from this one company and I was okay with that for five years uh, but then six years into it I thought okay maybe it would be cool if we uh, did something else so I started to write my own curriculum like my own lessons and things like that now I was doing was doing that for Wednesday night like our program outreach night, but not for our Sunday morning, Sunday, Sunday school, you know, kind of small group time. So I, I wanted to write our curriculum for our small group stuff. And we kind of had a, had a plan in place, you know, this, you know, it would go through this pastor here and then this pastor would make sure it was okay. And then the youth committee, because it was a Southern Baptist church would read it and double check on it before we launched it. But, uh, it, Long story short, I got told no. And for those of you who've gotten told no before about doing something that you were really passionate about or like thinking, okay, this is going to be great, you understand that getting told no is kind of a bummer. And honestly, I was coming away from this particular experience a little hurt, not, you know, not feeling like I was using the gifts God had given me. I, I like to write curriculum. I enjoy, you know, coming up with small group questions and things like that. That's a big part of what I was thinking my ministry was going to start heading towards, and I got shut down. It was hard. Well, fast forward a few months later, and I am watching this one particular company start to uh, come into their own. It's a little, uh, little group called Download Youth Ministry. And they had said, hey, if you want to submit some stuff, to be used on our website and maybe you know make some money from it you could do that and so i started submitting to them the things that i had written uh the in preparation for making the switch and just said hey our church is is not doing this anymore uh but maybe maybe this would be helpful to you and uh, it was the download youth ministry picked picked it up they started using my curriculum and i started making a, a little bit of extra money to Take my family out for pizza every now and then. That was pretty cool. Well, uh, fast forwarded a year from then, uh, Download Youth Ministry had its first ever uh, DYM 100 event, or 100 conference, I guess you could call it. And this happened out in uh, Southern California. It was Doug and Josh saying, hey, what if we had 100 youth pastors come to us, make it a really small uh, event, a really small kind of gathering? What uh, it would you come? And I was on board. And here's the, I guess, the the neat thing, or the thing, before this DYM100 happened, I had gone to a couple conferences for student pastors, and none of them were really big. You know, I still, to this day, have never been to the National Youth Workers Convention. I, I want to. Uh, the, the schedule hasn't worked out, and the youth ministry conference that we were going to in in Tennessee, where I was a youth pastor, was small. And it was, you know, maybe 500 people or so at that conference. And so I'd never been to the big ones. So I'd actually never had the chance to, like, see Josh and Doug on the big stage uh, in front of the big crowds uh, doing their thing. So the first time I ever 
got to see Josh and Doug uh, up close was at DYM 100, uh, where it was just me and some other youth pastors, and it was, we had a blast. Uh, it was a fantastic conference. I got to learn some stuff. It was so good that I, I went back the next year uh, as an alumni, and they said, hey, if somebody wants to come back and, and help out yeah, with some things, well, you can come and do that. So I was like, hey, I want to come back. I want to help. I want other youth pastors to kind of have this great experience that I had. And honestly, I felt really encouraged after I came away from that conference. Well, they've done it now three times. They had a DYM 100, the first one. They had a DYM 100, week two, uh, week one and week two, uh, week two for life. Uh, then they had a, a DYM 200. And, you know, they've just been experimenting with trying to keep these gatherings small so that they're not like the big person up on stage that's really far away, can't get any FaceTime with them, anything like that. Uh, so they, they've they been doing this. Well, this year they didn't have one out in Southern California. Instead, they said, hey, we want to take this on the road, and we want to do like a, a one-day, four-hour kind of training conference. And they wanted to do it in Texas. So they, we, uh, they reached out to me and asked if our church would be willing to host it as someone who's uh, done DYM 100 m many times and, you know, loves it and wants other youth pastors to kind of get a part of it. I said, yeah, come on to Texas. So I got to help and be a part of DYM 100 on location. Uh, and that was a really fantastic opportunity to go from San Antonio, uh, where I live, up to Houston to go visit uh, Bobby, Bobby Cooley's church in Kingsland, and then to go up to McKinney in Dallas and hang out with Grant Bird, a student ministry veteran and hero, just rocking it up, up there. And it was a really neat three days. And I'll tell you more about that in a little bit, about the experience and what I learned from it and all that kind of stuff. But I want to let you know, Dental Youth Ministry has been something that has been huge in my, uh, I guess, in my development as a student pastor. I, I'm, I've been doing student ministry now for 12 years. Uh, DYM has been around for six, and so I remember ministry before I had this fantastic website with tons of resources. Uh, ministry before was going on the internet, uh, hopefully finding one or two uh, games that you know somebody had posted for free on a website, or you know coming up with something out of a book that I've actually I'm looking over at my shelf. I see a couple of them over there, some books that you would steal some ideas from. But there was nothing like what there is right now. On the one hand, a website where there are tons of really well edited lessons, uh, games, training, uh, you know, resources that help me as a youth pastor do my thing. But then also there's not as much of a youth, there wasn't as much of a youth pastor network as what we have right now. The first DYM 100 that I got to go and hang out uh, at I made some really good friends. Uh, some youth pastors who, if I was at the Giant Conference, yeah, I don't know if I would have met these guys and hung out with them as much as I did with the smaller, the smaller crowd. So I've made some really great friends that I know I can call on, I can talk to, I can hang out with. And it's extremely cup-filling for me to have these guys in, in my corner and to, have, to call these youth pastors my friends. And it's been really great to serve alongside them and hang out with them. And so what's also been neat is Facebook is a thing now. Facebook is the social media of the older crowd under now, and I, I get that. That's cool. But on Facebook, you get to talk to people, and you get to have some conversations back and forth. And Download Youth Ministry has a really great Facebook page or community uh, a group that there's about, oh, it's almost 12,000 youth pastors strong now. It's huge. But to be able to put up some um, ideas or ask a question there and have youth pastors be able to speak into your life and give you some advice or, or to say, hey, here are some events that we've done in the past that have been really helpful or, hey, I, I get it, you're going through a tough season in ministry, I'd love to pray for you and talk to you. Uh, this, this has been a, a game-changing thing for me and extremely helpful as I've been ministering to middle school students. So now... My, a lot of my time is you know, no longer spent creating uh, games or creating resources, but rather I can get these games and then I can train students how to play them 
or I can empower leaders in a really big way and spend time hanging out with them and empowering them. And then the community has just been so vital to me as well, uh, being able to do some hangouts online through like a Google Hangout or something like that, and being able to talk to these guys and these girls and get their uh, ministry experience, their wisdom, their input. It's just been extremely, extremely beneficial to me as a student pastor. Well, all that to say, DYM has a fantastic uh, opportunity for you if you are interested in what they offer. I'm a DYM Gold member, which basically means I give Download Youth Ministry almost $300 of my uh, ministry resources uh, a year so that I can get $20 of store credit a month so that I can get a free game, a free student leadership resource, a free video, a free mystery item, and some other really great stuff every single month. These things help me with my ministry. They help me, they save me time, they save me the creative ability because I like making stuff, but I'm not the most creative dude in the world. I, I've got some limitations on how much I can create and whether or not it's good. So I've got some things like that. Here's what I want you to do. If you are just interested in DYM or what they do or maybe don't know about it yet or if you know about DYM but you've never done you know any type of gold membership or anything like that, there's a link in the show notes about how you can become a DYM gold member. I'd love for you to check that out so that you can uh, get a hold of what's going on. Now you got to do this quick because the uh, referral, referral link ends here soon. You can do this up until April 26th. You can see what's going on with Download Youth Ministry. And you can try the gold membership for a whole month. Now what's actually cool is if you subscribe right now, to, it's going to be April 16th by the day that you get this. If you subscribe today, you're going to get all of the April free resources that a gold member would normally get. But you're also going to get all of the May free resources that you would normally get as a gold member. And what's cool is you'll get the fi you'll get five dollars for free to try out any resource on the site. And because you're a gold member, every resource you actually get thirty five percent off. So it's almost like a third off of the resource that you're buying. So your your dollars go farther when you're a member. Here's what I'm gonna do. If you share this episode, okay, so if you share this episode with uh, your Facebook crowd or your Twitter crowd or uh, your Instagram crowd, whatever it is, and you you reference me, uh, you reference Talking Squirrels, you link us, I have a discount code for 20 bucks that you can use in the store. And on uh, Friday of this next week, I will, uh, over Facebook Live, do a drawing for who's going to get uh, this discount code for this 20 bucks of resources. So all you got to do is share the show uh, on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram, and I'll put you in this drawing. So huge, huge thing for you. You could become a DYM Gold member, uh, do a trial, no credit card required or anything like that. Just do the trial and get 35% off and potentially get 20 bucks off or 20 bucks to use to spend. So it could be a really good thing for you. It could be really great. Now, the DYM 100 on location was fantastic. Uh, I got to be the chauffeur and drive people around in a 15-passenger van. It definitely felt like youth ministry to youth ministers. It was a blast. But DYM is considering, potentially, doing this more. So if you have a city that you think DYM should come to, uh, you should definitely tell them about it. Uh, link them in the show and said, hey, I, I heard about the DYM 100 on location, and I would love for them to come to, I'd love for you guys to come to my city. Because Doug and Josh realize that not everybody can make it out to Southern California. It's expensive. So they want to come to you. So if you've got a city that you'd want them to come to, I hope you would. Because these guys are the real deal. I learned a lot from them. I got a chance to listen to their content uh, three times in a row, which means I think I finally got it on the third try. I, I hope that this could be something that would be useful to you, but Tell Download Youth Ministry that you want them to come to your city, maybe even come to your church and host the DYM 100 on location. It, it was a game changer for me uh, four years ago in Southern California, and honestly, I think it's a game changer for anybody who can get out to one of these on locations. So I hope you do that. 
I understand this is the Download Youth Ministry Show. Like, this is me talking about how this one youth ministry company has really shaped me and helped me in a big way, but it has. And so I wanted to share that with you guys. So whether you're ministering to only middle schoolers or you just have middle schoolers as a part of your ministry, I really hope you would check out DownloadYouthMinistry.com because it is a game changer and could really, truly help you in your ministry. Hey, my name is Ronald Long. I'm the host of Talking Squirrels, the middle school ministry podcast. Thanks for listening. I hope you guys have a fantastic week.